You know, I noticed something. What's that? I sound like really tart. Which doesn't help at all, right? Tart? Yeah, like my like my my S's are very painful on the ears and shit. And I think that my my you sure tart's the right word for I don't, that? You, 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 like the thing about that is like the T's also sound bad. So when you say okay. tart, it sounds like it sounds like bad, you know what I mean? So okay. I don't I don't know if I should get a new mic. I think I got this mic in like 2012. So I can... and the sign find the me on Discord, so I don't know man, I don't I don't like it though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Tyler, you're a call, like, you might as well invest in your hobbies, but I'm just saying, like, at least, to me, it doesn't seem, you know, bad. I need, I need people to tell me. I think it, it like, as I'm like, well, maybe it's because my earbuds are shitty, but, like, then I put on the AirPods to test it. Yeah. And, uh, hmm, yeah, it still, still kind of sounds bad. <laughs> So that's that's what I'll worry about for the time being. I'm gonna just got him. Switch. Fuck! <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like if I'm gonna like switch mic or whatever, it'll probably just be to like a high quality headset mic rather than. You wouldn't. Like you a... wouldn't dare, Gavin. You wouldn't dare throw away my gift to you. <laughs> that would be extremely rude. I mean, it's already, it's been here for years. It's Has it? Point. Yeah. How long? I think like genuinely three years now. No! That's not how time works. <laughs> Jet Sculpture is like such a good weapon. Yeah, no, we've had these mics for a while. I remember the day I went to Best Buy and bought this mic. <laughs> That's how you know it was really long ago, because I actually left the house to buy it Damn. instead of just ordering it online. <laughs> I think it's because, I mean, at that point, I didn't have my credit card, so, or debit card, I should say. I should get a credit card though. Start building credit. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that soon. Might get a uh, an Amazon one, given my purchases. Uh, well, they should but check Chris, the on that don't, shit. don't support Amazon. I mean, you, a you shouldn't, but also like you should like check the rates on that. Cause I'm pretty sure, like at least here, they're like 19% APR, which is like, well, wow, fuck. I don't even know what that means. I'm not it fit basically for this. Mean, it basically means like you're gonna get charged the fuck. Ah. For like, what do you call it, new interest rates and everything you're paying back on top of what you actually ah. spent. See, this is why debit cards are good, because it's just the money just that you already money, yeah. have. So there's no fucking up, this is beyond, you know, not keeping track of your own money. There's no like, well, Someone... I have like an extra phantom money to pay back. It's good to have a credit rate, but like, you're better off doing it with a bank or some other. So am I essentially just paying them? Or are they, like, am I essentially just paying them to have a credit score? Is that the exchange here? I thought that I would only have to pay up if I didn't pay, give them the money that I owe them. I mean, you know what, like, an interest rate accumulates even when you do pay back, right? You're, like, you, do, like, you pay over the minimum and that helps keep interest down by paying back more. But if you just like, keep that, you just keep paying the minimum, then it extends longer, and then why, they keep adding interest they... fees on top of that because that's how they make their money out of this. All right, why would I pay back more if I spend like twenty dollars on? No, no, like if it's not that. It's like say you spend like a thousand quid on something, and over the, you have like a I don't know a six month like payback thing. The interest rate is a, a percentage of that. So it's something like say it's like. A, so, okay, let's say it's a five month, a five month payback plan. It's like two hundred quid you pay back a month. You pay back like the two hundred quid. That's your minimum they expect back, and the interest rate is a bit more of that on top of that. 
the percentage of that 200 paid on top. That's how they make their money. Like when I say like if you only pay minimum, so zone, like, essentially, you pay, you pay essentially, I'm paying. You pay it off faster to like get less interest, so you're not paying more in the long run. Essentially, I'm paying for the people who work at the bank. This it's a tax, essentially. I mean, basically. Yeah. I thought that my normal taxes went to the people who work at the bank. Banks? No, that's not how that works at all. Wait, I was the banks. only one alive. What the fuck? Yeah, we had a disconnect. Uh, uh, like banks aren't like, you know, at well, least not here anyway. Like, the government regulates them pretty hard, but they aren't government institutions. They are like a market and industry upon themselves. I feel like I should have known that, but at the same time, it just kind of always felt like banks are like such a universal part of society that it just seems like, like deeply intertwined with like the economy and how money actually works. Yeah, that, that, so, like, that's what I mean. Like, you know, you like go to the government, and the government's like, all right, you're a bank. And then it's like, you know, we'll also put some tax money into you because we kind of need you as well to run our government or something. I don't no, know. I don't know. They said they're like a separate, like it's in the government's interest to keep them around and keep them well. But, and it's in the bank, you know, bank's interest to play along with the government. But the two aren't actually, the two are actually separate entities. Okay. Uh, and what do I gain by having good credit exactly? Uh, basically, good credit means that you're actually like, you're really good with your money. Like I said, yeah, I know what it means. What does it get me? Uh, well, I mean, for instance, if you wanted to like, you know, they get like a loan for to buy a house, for oh, instance, if you want a lot of money. Loans, it, I see. It, it's that sort of thing. It basically shows that you are trustworthy. That you are trustworthy. You can pay back your shit. So I mean, you'll be given better loan rates. You'll be you'll be trusted with more. Like when you're paying back your debt, like paying back debts or anything, like your trust them up. Hey, you good credit school. You're good at this shit. Like you're a good boy, so you're given better treatment that. than you're given. You know, like you know, you're given uh, basically this better treatment. You're given you know more money when you like want to borrow <laughs> money. You're given just basically just, like better treatment all around when it comes to like personal finances essentially okay see now i don't know i i feel like i'm not ready to be an adult because i hate the idea of loans like a lot so don't use them That's, no but mean... you're gonna need to use it to buy like a house and a car right like you can't buy a I house mean, and a car in without theory, a theory you could bullshit your way to that money some other way, but you know what are you talking about oh lord oh lord all right, here know, we go. Like, Watch I, this. Like, the power play. It works. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, like in theory, you could just make that money other ways, like you know, saving up, like making responsible and smart investments. Oh, Gavin, <laughs> I'm I'm far too gone for that. I don't know, man. Like paying paying for college, which I haven't done yet, at all. So, I, like, I I don't know, man. That. I just take like 47 quid out of my face like every month and just say like yeah that's okay that's you for the month no i thought like, i actually start paying back chunks in america myself. it's just it, it uh I, man i don't i don't know can i have both a debit card and a credit card yeah okay but i only get credit if i use the credit card i, I mean i don't I, know i don't know i think but David applied for a credit card recently. He told me, like, you know, he's never, he's never borrowed anything. He's never done any credit, like, traditional credit building stuff in all his life. And he's just always had a debit card and bought tons of shit. But he's never gone into, like, an overdraft. Which is, he's never gone below zero on his own money and had to take money from the bank. So when he actually applied for the card, apparently his credit score was actually decent to start. Oh, shit. Well, I think I so went under just... zero, like, twice. <laughs> <laughs> you probably been knocked a bit then. <laughs> they, I, they aren't supposed to keep track of that. Besides, I, I paid their $30 fee. I should be... That should scrub my plate. But it's your behavior that kind of smart don't, your... No, no. That I mean, you're, like... You know, you paying off your punishments. I... No, I should be a... You know how the world actually works. It's, it's like how... It's like how Rossetti is. It's like, it doesn't matter that you're, like, you're a good boy or not. The fact is that you've done these wrong things. No, see, yeah. one... One, I don't... I don't accept your patronizing of me. And uh -huh. two... <laughs> it's like yeah, the, how the world actually works is money gets you out of every problem. 
This explains you can a just, lot of it, where, where America is as a society. You can just pay people, and y that makes up for everything. <laughs> you know? Yeah, welcome there's this, to the real world, Chris. There's this, there's this idiom called shuffling it under the table, which is what money exists for, really. Welcome to the real world, Chris. So that some people are not fused by any amount of money that is want your ass beat. Something, something, insider trading. Now okay. That's how you get money about love. I have another question. Yes. Because the world seems to have this dumbass... You know, like way of naming types of jobs. Yeah. What is a blue collar job? Blue collar is a working man job. That's you know, dock worker. That's like a laborer. Okay. Like, What's green hard, collar? Like, hard work, like low rent, like like, you know, like low, like generally low paying. Not always, but generally in you know like labor stuff, like plumber <laughs> shit like that. Low playing. He said the word wrong. <laughs> Are I don't think plumbers are low paid. No, that's why I said generally, but not always. Okay, just the, the person who does... This is why you listen to the words I say. I'm just saying the that the just... word that no one... It was a bad example, I think, maybe. I mean, they, they are blue collar jobs. Though. Yeah, I know, it's weird. But, okay, then what's white collar? Office worker. Okay, and what is they green collar? Worker, I don't know, I've never heard that one before. I assume bank. Like something to do with finances. Are you telling me the colors actually mean something? I mean, they refer to the to like what is traditionally you know, what that type of worker would traditionally use. You know, like an office worker wears a white shirt with a tie. You know, a blue okay. collar is usually just wearing like some sort of jumpsuit because it's, it's a blue collar jumpsuit. Yep, I, yep. Shit like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> like what? The... What? A blue collar jumpsuit? What the fuck? Yeah. No. You know, dock workers, mechanics, like they all wear shit like that. My brother works in construction. He has, he has a blue jumpsuit. Oh my god. Yeah, I walk dogs. I wear a blue jump, jumpsuit. Maybe if you killed the moths instead of going for the eggs. I killed a moth. I didn't know there was a second one. Maybe you should like actually communicate with me. This guy's a bitch. He, you know, you need eyes. This is bitch coming to me. Yeah, my eyesight's pretty bad. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm saying I can't read these pixels yesterday, Monster Hunter. Also, I, ha I haven't, uh... Monster Hunter has historically terrible HUD, so I'm not even... That's nowhere near true. I'm not even, like, you know... It's so, like, the people who say that are just, are, like, unable to read a HUD. Or to use the Call of Duty, where it's just, like, there's only the gun, and that's it. I mean, all I'm saying is I can, he I can read the word Wave 2 and see the number 14 here. On my apparently poverty apparently small read. television. You apparently can't read people's names if they walk past you. No, I, I choose not to read those. My brain omits certain information in order to process important information better. My brain just pockets all the information. It doesn't need those. Yeah, you're, like you know, that. you're wor you're not you're you're not working uh, smartly. I I would say. No, I'm working harder. Yeah, but not smarter. Harder, so, better, faster, and stronger. Nope. Yeah, I hate that blue collar shit. Just, just give it a word that has meaning instead of putting a code behind it. You stupid bitches. <laughs> well, it's, it's yeah. You know, it's essentially just like the hanky code, isn't it? Except with workers. I, I don't think so. No. I, I, I think you know, let's, let's color code it. At least the hanky code has like a reason I mean, to be like that. It has a reason to be like that. It's, like, it's just, you know, like a bit of cultural, like just a bit of culture that like is built up because that's just how things work. People just say, hey, oh, let's let's work. give it a little flavor to make it more confusing. All right, protect me. Only promise to try. It's funny how much discussion we've got out of this when I ha I actually have a list of stuff to talk about. You know, that was definitely not one of them. <laughs> See, I, like, one of them was kind of meant for the beginning, so I don't know how well we translate. And you may well just fucking go for Basically it. just saying that we're playing Monster Hunter again. Yeah. That, like, see, that would be better for the beginning, but... Yeah, I, I was actually kind of tempted to just not play it again. 
because it was rather discouraging. I mean, if you just give up instantly, like, why would you ever play anything? Well, see, this is this is kind of what I was thinking, because in my head, I was thinking it, and then you said, uh, oh, well, what's the point of living? And I'm like, oh, no, Gavin, you're really important to me. So, uh, <laughs> I decided, you know what, let's, let's because I, I, I did have a point yesterday where I should try weapons that I'm not used to. Yes. But uh, th I feel like that, that's kind of bad. I don't know. You see... The thing is, like, I feel like you're doing this thing where, because the game is like hard and has a learning curve, you're just going, "Well, it's bad because I don't immediately get it." Kind of. I mean, which is like not a, a, that is the game journalist way of approaching video games. Like, don't do that. I'm probably gonna talk as if Monster Hunter World came out first, which it technically I did. Mean, that's a given, and I'm gonna keep correcting you every time because it makes me laugh. Which it technically did, but also technically didn't, because dumbass fucking remasters. But, uh, I mean, the remaster came out in Japan before World did. Oh my god. Where do By we like live, Gavin? Where do we live? It doesn't matter. Like, here's the thing, right? There's a world outside your fucking borders. <laughs> a Monster Hunter world. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it reminds I'm me of all how, for like, it. reminds me of how, like, was, like, Game of the Year fucking 2016. It was like, yeah, this is the greatest shit ever. American, and, like, American, like, websites were like, well, this doesn't exist, and we're gonna, like, kick it out and, like, not touch it until, you know to the 2017 lists and then we're just gonna bury it anyway because it didn't come out in america in 2016. i mean i'm i'm all for saying that everything in japan is canon but i feel like with now, the release with that example i'm talking about it came out in europe in 2016. i'm not i don't care we Gavin, we've already established i don't care about bravely p fault okay i mean like it's just an example do you, have, you, do you have the thing i do have i do have the thing okay stay stay back I haven't played Bravely. Actually, I have. I played the demo for five minutes and then was like, hmm. hmm I don't really know about this. And then turned it off. It's fantastic game. Yeah. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> the second is also pretty good, but was sadly slightly mangled by Nintendo's clawing hands. Because, oh no, the babbies. The babbies might get sad if they play the video game and bad things happen because they're not paying attention. Doesn't matter if there's a narrative point to it around here, it's just fucking remove it, because that's how it works, right? You should always have a happy fuzzy food when playing video games. Alright, Gavin, Trash. I'm gonna backseat game here. Should probably aim a little bit higher there. I was aiming as high as the thing would point up. Yeah, Splatoon kinda has that problem, doesn't it? Yeah, if that was as high as it would go, it would not go any higher. I guess you should back up and then aim higher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the, th the thing about Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is it seems like it uh, removes... Now, see, this is this is what I'm talking about. It seems yeah, like it... it re doesn't remove shit. I know, I know, but let's just pretend, okay? For the... for the Because I, I don't want to stumble over my words, because then we'll never get anywhere. So, let, let's just say it, it kind of, like, removes all the... Like, all the advanced weapon thing. Like, they're, they're, it seems like there are less moves for the weapons. Except there's not. The dual blades have like three times as many moves, so there's a long, the long sword has more moves as well. Well, not the, not the hammer and the insect wave, apparently. And then, if then, anything, they removed a whole fucking ton of moves from the dual blades in, the, in transition to world. It seems like it replaces them with like these things like aerial, guild, what are those things called? Hunting styles. Like hunting styles? Like. Just like. Come on. I already picked a weapon. That's that's like complex enough. Then I had to pick a style for that weapon. Picking a weapon is complex. Well, yeah, there are a lot because there are a lot of moves for each weapon in a lot of different play styles. You I know. Don't know about that. If you're talking a like world, like, absolutely not. It's like T TF2 almost. You know, you pick the guy with the flamethrower. You pick the guy with the rocket launcher, and then there's a whole world inside that. It's not as simple as it seems. I mean, that's why you just pick a style and keep to your style. But I don't know, like, I, I don't want to experiment that's with all you... seven styles that's for every playing, weapon. That's what the playing the game is, though. That's the point, that's the gameplay part of the video game. I thought that the gameplay learning. part of the video game was killing the myriad of monsters that existed in that By game. learning its mechanics and systems to kill them in a better, more efficient way. I mean, all I'm way. saying is I got 130 hours out of Monster Hunter World without needing that. So I, I feel like 
I'm not I mean, you say that, but how, how many of those 130 hours are spent complaining about they're not being slopes? I thought you were going to say how much of those 130 hours are spent loading, which I mean on the PS4? <laughs> Probably at least one-fourth of it. Oh. I mean, you know, like... Did you see that video, you, though? You say that, but, like, you didn't really learn the moves? Not until the insect later, anyway. That's not true. You spent most. You spent the majority of your hammer time just <laughs> constantly chasing like slopes and going. This is the only way I can attack this thing. And like saying, lure over here so I can do the thing. It's kind of like, oh, fight it in the open where it's easier to move. No. And then you picked up the insect live, and then you began to learn. It's like, oh yeah, he gets it. <laughs> because it allows me to attack every single part of the monster instead of just the feet, and I can actually. Attack flying monsters. Not in this game, though! As far as you know, anyway. So why play it? Exactly. Good job, Chris. You really taught him. The point is, like, it is, like, a more complex game in the world, but saying, like, oh, it's bad, like, that's a really shit thing to say just because you don't get it. Oh, I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I might you not want to play it. oh, this is kind of bad. That was the exact word. Kind of bad. So you're saying it's bad? No, I'm saying it's got like, bad. The like, kind of bad is not like, oh, this is actually a positive thing. No, you're saying it's shit. Like, this is what I'm getting at. It's like, you can't just say, like, oh, it's bad because you don't get it. It doesn't suit my preferences. That's fair. That's like, that's perfect. You know, there you go. Like, it doesn't suit your preferences. Hey, fine. You're saying, oh, it's bad because, hey, you don't get it. It's just a really shit thing to do. This, this is a sort of discussion. This, this guy <laughs> reads into it too much. Readily limited for yourself and for other people. This guy you like just tell people, oh, it's kind of bad. They're gonna go like, oh no, I don't want to play this game. Because Chris says it's kind of bad. No, what, Gavin? I don't get the Gavin, context. Of, like, no one is even play. watching this you know, right now. No one it takes doesn't my way. Fucking matter, you know. You talk to people, don't you? Debatable. <laughs> Are you a person? You seem like an AI. I, I, oh I god. Refused, I refused <gasps> that but oh balls. Well, I want to live. Snicks. Yeah, you, you can't even be mad at me because I was literally in between two of them. I mean, yeah, and then yeah, after it killed you, the one turned around began pushing me, and I got yep. in the corner, and then I turned around, and one was coming through the nearest door right at me. I was like, oh. I, wow. I don't know if you heard. I was about to splash down, but I was already dead. Because there was a I mean, car it, there. It was too. worth a shot, I guess. <laughs> It keeps me safe for one second. For all of one second. Yeah, we'll try Monster Hunter again. I, I hate the insect glaive in that game makes me extremely angry though. So we're gonna not play that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go back to it if I get used to the mechanics, but this is this is why it's good it's one of the, that we have the thing a, with Monster Hunter is that it's a time investment, you know? Oh don't World worry, I know. I agree a bit, but you know, this is how it is. You just gotta invest your time in and get used to it and see how it goes and goes. I mean, I'm just kind of glad that there was like a demo. The world demo, mm. I mean, the world demo fucking sucked, and then I loved world. But like, at the time, I'd never even looked at a Monster Hunter game, so of course it sucked. But, yeah. uh, you know, at, at least here, like, you know, I, on one hand, I feel like if I spent $60 on this game, I'd be much more inclined to give it more shots. But at the same time, if I do not like it, which I, is possible, then uh, I didn't drop 60 bucks for it. I mean, you say that, but you, you drop 60 quid on Mario Tennis. And then yeah, I was going to say, yeah, see, you know, I was going to bring that up too. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm very bad at when it comes to buying so I games. feel like saying, like, oh, I didn't drop 60, like, 60 quid on it. So, you know, like, oh, you know. Is that really okay, but relevant to, to be fair, some of your purchasing decisions? I gave Mario Tennis a shot, and I'm really not good at it. I mean, when you say a shot, do you mean in the fucking demo? Yeah, I mean a charge shot. No, I, I bought it and then I played it off stream because I knew it would make me angry because the demo made me angry. And then every like, other time I tried to play it, it made me angry. In a few hours, I think. I don't think so. I mean, really, I feel like I got my money. Hours, I feel like, like, okay, if you're you're not getting the dance for like a tennis game, like, okay, sure. In in a way, I feel like I got my money's worth from watching Luke play because he doesn't have a Switch, so he wouldn't have been able to play it anyway, and it was really fun to like, you know, commentate and stuff. So <laughs> I feel like that, you know, that wasn't entirely a waste of money. I just wish that I, you know, liked it. 
I do like it, by the way. I feel like it's unduly shit on. <laughs> the way you talk about things gets on my tits. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I liked to play it, but I do like it. You know what I mean? I wish I liked it, but I do like yes, it. Yes, yeah, like. <laughs> like what is uh, the other? <laughs> The story mode's pretty, pretty garbage, though. I don't even, I don't even really know why they bothered, but it just gives no people content. something to get angry about for no real reason. And content to play. Yeah. So about that genius idea I had this morning. What was that? Basically, when it comes to uh, Smash Bros. representation for this game, I mentioned yeah. that a shifty station stage with the Octoling reveal would be great, and I still agree with that. I mean, it's possible for Splatoon to have three stages because it's Splatoon. I, you know, yeah. But I feel like that's also not plausible. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not going to happen, but yeah. It but could happen. If, if there was. Like a salmon run stage? And I know Ga you have to hold your tongue. Gavin, t two minutes after I posted that tweet saying I was the my salmon run idea, Twitter. Gavin, and then I saw that come up. Gavin literally just said like, a very mean thing. So, <laughs> like, very discouraging. What I say? He didn't, even, he didn't even humor the idea. Like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a cool idea, even if it might not happen. He, he literally just said, like, that's not gonna happen. Also, it's a terrible idea, and you're a terrible person, and maybe you should stop idea. playing Salmon Run so fucking much to make it the only thing you think about, you piece of shit. Uh, Chris, you're projecting, character. you this said in a reply to me. There are eggs near the basket. You should, grab eggs. you should grab that one. Yeah. Alright, there we go. But. No, oh, he just, he, like, immediately he, like, he just shot down. I'm like, well, it's, it's just a fun thought experiment. Yeah, it's the thought experiment you keep doing, and I, you keep going like, it's the big side mode. It's kind of like, me, it's it not. is. It is. It's not. Salmon Run is Salmon Run's when bigger than the single player. Hello? When did, that doesn't mean shit. When did it last get a new stage? I know. See, now that's what I was going to say. Because it's like, uh, d in the tweet, they I kind of said, had... if, like, I, I kind of gave a backhanded, uh, like, if Nintendo cared about Salmon Run, so, like, I'm aware, but... I need to call it the big side mode when it clearly is. I feel like it would be the perfect way to represent this game. I because they so. already have I, a multiplayer... I feel like that is a perception they bias. Are, they already have a multiplayer stage, and Salmon Run is, if like... they should have an off expansion stage. Well, that's what Shifty Station kind of is. Eh. I'd say. Like, it would just have random elements. But, I don't know. Here's, here's, here's what I'm thinking for this... Uh, fabled Splatoon, or sorry, sorry, I wouldn't dare call this Splatoon 2. This fabled Salmon Run stage. Basically, I'm thinking spawning ground, you know where grates are? Like, facing yeah. in towards where the rest of the stage is, that's where the camera is. And there's like one bottom level that's ground, and then one top level that's grates that you can go through, because that's how it works in the game. And then on the sides are water, kind of like that one area in Delfino Plaza, aka the front of it. So I guess you could swim in it. Maybe, maybe not, but I guess, to, you know, for less work, you be, would be able to swim in this terrible green gunk of pollution. And then, uh, you know, if you have stage hazards on, every so often, boss salmonid, or maybe even normal salmonid, would come up and, uh, Kind of interrupt the fight in a way, because that's how stage hazards work. And, uh, I think it'd be cool. And then, you know, if you kill the boss salmonid, you get e eggs drop. And then, uh, you could put it in the egg basket and maybe get an item or something. If they want to go that far. They don't need to do the egg thing, though, but they could. What do you think? I mean, I feel like that's extremely elaborate for what this is. I, Gavin, it's not- making a stage isn't easy. I hope you understand. I mean, like, oh, like, uh, it sounds all great and all, like, from the- You know, the, you know like, the, you have the game being represented by, like, the- You know, the egg mechanic and all, like, oh, it sounds great and all. Where's the butt? It wasn't the butt. The cadence of how you said that 
definitely had a butt following it. It wasn't the butt. I guess it just said it weird. I'm sorry. With the, with the, with the eggs. But Salmon Run isn't big enough to have uh, bosses and, you know, stage hazards when the main game's mode stage doesn't. That's what you were going to say. I mean, basically, yeah. It's kind of funny because I kind of like the Moray Tower stage in Smash. No, I, I really mean, like it. of course, it's terrible. Like, the layout is terrible. It doesn't facilitate fighting at all. I, I love how you can already say, decisively, conclusively say this. It's like I mean, every it's one of those fucking vertical stages that no one likes with the fall through I've platforms. I've never had an issue with those fucking stages. And everyone. Like people, when you say no one likes, do you mean the top, that the pan competitive no. player is a melee? Everyone, everyone, like, always just fights at the top because, you know, everything else is too fucking annoying to navigate. Unless there's that one bitch that goes down to the bottom and just kind of waits for everyone to kill themselves. And then, you know, snipes kills. But like... I, like, who the hell are you playing with that plays like this? Everyone. Instead of just rushing at each other, like, screaming and hooting. Well, see, the best way to do that is to play on the top, because there isn't stage in the way. No, you just, like, you just fucking go at it. Like, Falling wherever, through... like, closest person to you, regardless of where you are, or fucking have at you. Falling through that's five still... platforms is really annoying. I mean, at least that's how me and my friends play these games. We just fucking go at it. It doesn't, like, doesn't really matter, like, well, just what the stage layout is. Like, are you close to me? Well, just fucking have at you. Either, either way. Either way. It represents Moray Towers perfectly. And I feel like, oh, it's good to have an interesting stage because I feel like if any other Splatoon stage was represented, it would just kind of be a pretty ge relatively generic stage. Yeah. But, like, the Moray Tower stage completely represents that stage in an interesting way. Because, you know, it's ramps going back and forth yeah. with some flat areas. It's perfect. Even if it's going to be terrible to play on. And even though I love Moray Towers as a stage in this game, even though no one else does one alive, uh, I think I think that it's kind of a good pick in a way. Like, there are going to be 103 stages in that game minimum. There's going to be more. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why yeah, I, I do Minimum. Like, you know, oh, if the, if like one stage is unplayable, big whoop, but I'll put Chris is the Splatoon stage and I love Splatoon, I understand, but that's where the Salmon Run stage comes in, baby. An actually well-designed stage with one fall-through platform on the top. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think it could be cool, because like there's so many bosses in here, too. But it would require... More than they seem willing to put forth based on how more ATARs is, but yeah. ex like ex you know, extraneous mechanics. But let's pretend added. that let's just pretend that they could put all the work they wanted into this stage and make it. They would just, they would just put in more Castlevania music. The best, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> make it the best stage in Smash because it would be. I feel like, you know, you could fight all the bosses in the same way you fight them here. Like, the steelhead creates the thing, and then you aim at it until it pops. And if yeah, you that's don't... Just, that's just the Dracula mechanic. If you don't, it throws it in the middle of the stage and creates an explosion. A big explosion that sends you flying and damages you, obviously. Like Mary Poppins, it can be killed uh, when it flips over, and it shoots rain. And then rain just goes across the stage and puts little percentages on you. If you're in it, it comes on, covers the entire stage, and just kill, kills you immediately. I mean, kind of. Like, it's kind of funny how, uh, like the, the flying missiles are completely unavoidable attacks. The rain is, uh, the rain's already in the game. Well, I don't know if Wario wears back. I never really paid attention. I assume so. But the mechanic's already there, like in the cat with the umbrella mini game. That, that just use that rain. It's perfect. And uh, one on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, none on. Yeah. Uh, like the flying fucker, obviously you can't, not everyone has bombs, but, uh, you know, you could probably just hit the things while they're open to damage them enough and then they fall off and eventually dies and then just kind of puts little missile reticles on the ground and you have to avoid them, which is also probably in the game, honestly. Uh, what else? The snake, I, I guess it would like, it would just go across the whole bottom of the stage or the whole top of the stage. I think that that's fair. It works. Maybe it loops around and then goes to the bottom again, and then loops around and goes to the top. Because of how that stage works in that area, it could do that. Maybe it even loops around into the <laughs> oh, background fuck. and goes up the ramp and then goes around, and you could see All it right, coming. But what about like the high and low tide mechanics? I mean, I, I think that that's not really viable. 
It could they, be viable. They'd absolutely put them in there and you'd be forced to the top of the stage. If they the high type mechanic. If they I mean, you know what? It, that's very smash like, isn't it? I feel like yep. they wouldn't I feel like they would pick one or the other though. And I like the boss idea more. Because <laughs> it's more complex and interesting. I feel like they would represent the tide and wave mechanics. Oh yeah, more. for sure. But like let's like I said, let's just pretend that they made this the best <laughs> stage in Smash Bros. What what else is there? Uh well, I mean they've already failed because it's not a Castlevania stage. Castlevania stage is gonna be garbage. <laughs> Uh, what other bosses in this game? I, they just all come together. The sniper, taxis. taxis. The taxis just bump you and do a bit of damage. Bump you off, maybe stuff like that. Uh, snipers. They probably see the problem is you'd have to like make these bosses like they would not. They would have to appear like not very often. Otherwise, this would be the most aggravating stage to play in the entire game. Well, Gavin, it still wouldn't be as aggravating as Yellow Devil. No, it would be worse. I mean, you I know, it could just be, it could be, a, it could be a, it could be a random thing. Like, not all, not all Smash stages last forever. They could come like once every minute or something. But then, you'll be playing on that stage so much because it's the best stage in the game that you know, you'll get your fill of all the bosses soon enough. I want to hear if such a stage is ever announced because it's the only thing you ever pick. <laughs> I'll still pick Pac-Land, Don't worry. But uh. Yeah, I guess the sniper will work kind of like the rain, except just do more damage. It'll be focused. It would just be in the background and just shoot you from the back. No, not from the background, because it still has to hit you, so I guess it would be the side. It, it just sits in the background, and it just, like, makes part of, the, like, like a, a highlight or a cursor appear in front of you, like, on a part of the stage, and then it shoots. So, okay, you're saying it's, like, like the cannon the, and, cannon, like, yeah. the fucking Mad Knight stage. But, I don't know, I feel like you should be able to kill all the bosses, since that's... That represents Salmon Run best. Except sometimes Except you just... they aren't always that stable. <laughs> you can't, you can't, anyway. you can't. <laughs> no, it would represent the snipers perfectly because sometimes you just straight up can't get to them. But... <laughs> uh, and then, you know what? They could take their smash liberty and go with my amazing idea of uh, marking the eggs. So if you kill the boss... This is still not a good idea. And never only will you get the eggs. I mean, it kind of works because with how stage hazards usually work, you kill Ridley and then suddenly he he fights for you the for like, you know, five minutes. Fuck that. That's the dumbest shit of all time. Thank God he's going to be replaced by Alfonso, who would be more fair. And like, the, the Birdmen in Magic Camp? Jesus fucking Christ, that stage is terrible. Thank God it's back, but with stage hazards off. And at a time where I can actually respect it. And the Birdmen are cool, but I feel like they're represented in such a shitty way. <laughs> like, it makes me so mad. But, uh, that's bullshit. They're like little mini Ridleys that you just have to shake off because they're annoying. And that's how they worked in the game. Yeah, I know that's how they worked in the game. But, you know, there's, you know, representation and fun. I mean, that's what I was talking about earlier with the sniper thing. You're like, no, it has to be 100% accurate. So I'm not wrong. Well, it would be more fun to kill the sniper, I think, because then you get it out of the fog away. I think, but... Okay, well, keep in mind, it's wave two. I know, but I had to use that other Oh, yeah, no, that was a, it was a good play, I'm just saying. Because I saw another person use their uh, jetpack at the same time. Well, if you can get these eggs in, I'll, I'll protect them, because... I want to be the one dude who's on guard. I don't want to be like Eggman and be like, I let my guard down. Yeah, take that! <laughs> okay, I let my guard down, I guess. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. I'm touching egg. Great. Oh, it worked. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, doesn't this sound like the coolest stage of all time? No, because it's not Dracula's cast. I think, Gavin, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Gavin, I need you to just agree with me. Dracula's no. Castle is pretty cool. I kind of hope that the face does something. Because that's the coolest looking uh, thing it in that stage. It will most likely come in and like, shit's... Hey. It will most likely come in and just like immediately just, like, start shitting, like, just shitting stuff on the stage. Like a fireball that spreads. Because that's hard to hear in Castlevania too. It kind of looks like it's just going to be a background element though. You know what I, I mean? mean? Maybe. I don't know. It should be kind of like, disappointing. I'd be fair, in Castlevania 2, it literally only moved in a circle. So... <laughs> Castlevania 2 was not a very good game, but like is Kid Dracula even gonna show up or is, there, is he just gonna be a cameo in the lightning? I mean, he'll probably show up and cast like his attack spells from Kid Dracula. Maybe. Oh, fuck. 
a representation isn't everything, but let's have Kid Dracula in the fucking game. The most obscure character in video game history. Perhaps even the entire world. Kid Dracula is a fairly popular game. Yeah, I'm sure he, I'm sure it is. Look, it's only popular if I've heard of it, okay? Have I heard of Kid Dracula before this? No. Have I even seen Kid Dracula before this? No. I feel like you would have heard of Kid Dracula before seeing it. You'd be surprised. Nah, you, like, I, I wouldn't assume that. You can never know. Someone posted it and then, you know, made a caption, I want to fuck this thing, and then... Okay, maybe for oh, Kid Dracula that's a no. bad example, but... <laughs> 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 but, you know! Slow up here, so walls maybe. Uh, these guys are actually like. Being they are working! Yeah, I mean, they were like waiting to see, like waiting for someone else to shoot it and see. You think so? Yeah. I feel like. The moment, the moment you were like, you shot it, like one that was low over there, they immediately began moving to over here. But then they stopped and did sea bagging. I guess they were just uh, waiting for someone else to shoot. Yeah, but do you mind if I double down on that terrible thing that I said without thinking? How about you want the fuck Kid Dracula? No, oh, how old is Kid Dracula? Is he a thousand year old dragon type of deal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, terrible. It's terrible. I'm not gonna apologize though. We're gonna keep <laughs> going because there's still yeah, one more <laughs> important thing to talk about. Go for it. Two more important things to talk about. You Go won't consider it. the second one important, though. Uh, the Splatfest for North America was announced. What is Pork it? I didn't see. versus Spoon. What do you make of that, Gavin? That sounds like a stupid joke. <laughs> what side do you pick, Gavin? Marina's side, because I don't give a shit. No, Gavin, come on. Like, I don't They're know why both pearl. Going, oh, why can't you just force an answer? Like, no, fuck you. Dave, That's remove that. I'm, I'm, you know, like, this isn't about Splatfest. This is me asking you, do you prefer fork or spoon? I mean, I don't give a shit. They're I know you don't give things. a shit. No one gives a shit, but you, you know, just answer. They're used for different things. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to, like, object to the wrong? This is exactly... This is, this is exactly the answer I was looking for, because that's the problem with this Splatfest. <laughs> So I think I think the problem is from what I've seen, most people have uh, have this idea that the Splatfest is like they're asking you if you had a mystery food, we don't know what it is. Would you prefer to use a fork or a spoon? And that's like, well, obviously, like if the mystery food ends up being cereal, then uh, you know I don't want to pick a fork, but I don't know because you didn't give the food. But like I think it's actually just do you like you know. Do you prefer like when you're when you're eating is like using a spoon more satisfying than using a fork? I think that's what they're asking. That's an incredibly weird question. I know because it needs clarification. Remember when it used to be easy, like cats versus dogs, or would you yeah. rather fly or be invisible? <laughs> of course, there's a time thing right there. They don't need clarification. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when I said I don't care about it. It's clearly a lie, because I did put some thought into what this question could be, and that's what I came up with. So, it, with, with that in mind, what would, what would you say? My answer remains unchanged. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I mean, I need you to give me material. I, I don't want because I I clearly have pick a questions that have substance in. I, don't know. I clearly have a, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm giving us what Nintendo has given us. Okay. Let's talk about someone else then. No, no, because it's like it's an inter it's, it's kind of an interesting challenge in a way, right? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so, so, a topic so stupid and mundane, even that like you know to have to think about it. It's a, waste a, of my time. it's a real I'm brain scratcher. Like Gavin, everything's a waste of everyone's time because our existence on this planet is it's a waste of time. It's definitely not true. The white guy took this one in his head, man. What? What? I don't know what you said. It sounded like you said the black guys, and I'm like, what? Exactly. Okay, do you want me to give my answer, and then you can maybe bounce it. off of that? I, I absolutely won't, but go for it. So when, oh, yeah, please. <laughs> when, I, when I said, uh... 
I didn't put much thought into this. I definitely did. So I even made a tweet. You're doing this thing again where you say one thing and then immediately say the opposite. Yeah, I know. But uh, I'd say the fork because it's like it's just much more precise. You know what I mean? Like if you're eating pasta or even like spaghetti. Well, maybe not spaghetti. Spaghetti is a bad example because spaghetti sucks as we've established. But uh, if you're eating pasta, like with the fork, you can get every last piece of pasta or every last piece of macaroni. You know what I mean? Every I last I don't need that, but... slice of chicken. What, what do you eat with a fork? Stir fry? Um, Stir fry maybe. a fork? You can eat with a fork, I generally do. One day I want to try eating it with chopsticks because fuck. You could probably get every last piece of stir fry with a fork. Stir fry. <laughs> I don't know. You, what... actually, you actually can. But I don't know what stir fry is. Depending on uh, how much, like, you know, salt, like, chili I put in, it's practically. Oh, chili. Easy to eat. Okay. You actually would be easier to eat it with a spoon. I would eat that with a spoon. But with, with, like, a spoon, for example, with chili, like, the spoon's just so big and, like, blunt. I don't know if blunt's the right word, but, uh, the opposite of precise, like, if you're eating, like, cereal, chan. I mean, when you say that, I just kind of have to yeah. ask what kind of spoons are you using? I'm not uh, using really small spoons, I guess. I'm not using teaspoons. Because, like, I've never had accuracy problems with a spoon. I'm just saying, like, if you're eating, like, yogurt, chances are you aren't, like, to get every piece of yogurt is annoying. You have to scrape the side of the yogurt container I mean, I 50 have to do times. that when I use a fork for stuff like stir fries. But you're eating chili with a fork. Like, what, what are you doing? Because it's not purely chili. Your stir fry is actually mostly vegetable, or rather fruit even. So I only recently realized, it only recently occurred to me that bell peppers are fruits. Okay. <laughs> There's your educational fruit fact. You know, I kind of have a, had a thought about that earlier, but that, that's irrelevant. Uh, I don't know, like, if you're eating soup, chances are you can't get all the soup. Because the spoon's just, like, too big and it's just too annoying. Basically, it, it just comes down to forks are a lot less annoying to use when eating than spoons are. So that's why I say fork. I mean, I don't know, if you're eating with a fork and disregarding chili, like, chances are it's like stuff that you, you know, don't really need to eat. It's not really the main course, it's just kind of the, the flavoring. What? You know. That's all I'm going to offer. That's why I, yeah, I, I know. You, you inquire know. for more. You know. I can't think of an example, but. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I eat the meat sauce, but I guess some people probably don't eat meat sauce with their pasta. That, that could be count. Like, the meat sauce exists to make the pasta taste better. But then you can also eat it if you want to, which I do. But some people don't. So I'm. I don't know. Every time I've gotten up, I just immediately get put in re and then surrounded by enemies on green ink. And it's just like, fuck me, it's letting me move. For a second, I thought you said every time I've gotten up. Uh, oh god, that worked. Again, I'm a god. Every time I've gotten up, I have to think. Do I have salmon? Just not throwing a bomb. He like, literally stole the end of our lives. He still just stood there for like five seconds straight, not doing anything. Yep, classic. <laughs> We would have had that if he had, like launched his tried launch his bomb earlier because we would have killed him got the eggs in. Every time I wake up I think, do I have salmon run today? And if the answer is yes, I dread that moment for the entire day. <laughs> Thought that's what you were gonna say. Gavin's like, this this caricature has gone way too far. It went way too far many, many episodes ago. All right, Gavin. Spoon or fork? My answer remains unchanged. Gavin, you should have given me something. Move to your next topic. No, no. Because <laughs> we have we have three waves. And the next topic probably isn't gonna be enough. You'd be surprised. I need you. I need like any agree or disagree even anything. I mean, I disagree with your notions that spoons are somehow inaccurate and unwieldy. Compared to a fork? Yeah. Like that, that's what like I'm comparing I, I it to. I'm not... It just makes me, like, 
wonder how you use a spoon. I'm not, I'm not saying that spoons are, like, you know, actually entirely inaccurate. I'm comparing it to the fork, and then I'm kind of, like, pu pu putting, some, uh, putting some spice on it to emphasize the point, because, as we've established, this topic is just very hard to even explain. <laughs> so it kind of makes it easier to make my point. There was a here. What a bear. I probably went for someone else. Cause fuck you. Oh, oh, the maw! I completely forgot. The most forgettable enemy, because it only appears for two seconds. On, on the smash stage. It would, it would go for you, and then if it bit you, it would launch you up, and then it would go for someone else, because that's how it works in the game. It wouldn't go for you again. <laughs> Which also works for balance purposes, I guess. Because if you were attacked by the maw for its entire duration, then, uh... And suck. It's oh, oh, I completely forgot. Because of how Smash 4 works, I feel like it'd be fair to put like character specific uh, little little advantages in. So like you know, if you're Link and you have a bomb, you could kill flying fuckers immediately with the bomb, or kill maws immediately with the bomb. Or if you have like an arrow like Link or like the laser like Rob, you could kill the steelheads immediately because it's like a snipe kind of thing. Mm. Because you're picking the character, you're picking the stage before the character, so you can think about those things. I think it'd be pretty neat. I put more thought into this stage than Sakurai has put into the entire series. I think. Even as a jest, that's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> Great. I'm, I don't. I was not visibly on green ink as far as I could see. But Wait, what? Fuck me, I guess. Oh. Well then. That's unfortunate, Street. Yeah, but you know I talk entirely in exaggerations. It's very frustrating that data looks like genuine. Alright. But. I need an answer. You're not getting one, move on. Kevin, I will kill you. Go ahead. That's another <laughs> Anything to end the fork and spoon discussion. <laughs> I'm mad. Gavin always- Gavin never answers the Splatfest questions. Because they're stupid questions with no real answer. What's- what's- what, I forget, what's your Splatfest again? Like, do you want to go on an adventure or do you want to, like, relax when you're right. all the... And then you chose to relax because... You, you don't- That's Marina. Is that really it? Yeah. You never really think about these things? I mean, like, whether that- like, whether I want to go on an adventure or relax on a holiday is entirely dependent on when I'm planning that holiday. Like, I don't have a general preference. You know? I am not, like, so fucking binary a human being that I always <laughs> just have one go-to <laughs> for every one of these situations. If you imagine yourself going on a bunch of vacations, and then you could take a guess on, like, which side you would do more often. It would entirely depend on my mood for the vacations themselves. Like, I think like it's not like I can't just easily boil it down. It's like, I oh, mean, I would throw, always just go relax. Throw every mood at the wall and then see which one you uh, would probably do more. I can't. Like, I genuinely don't know these things. How am I meant to do that? It, it, it just, it just, you know, thinking and guesswork. It's not what these things deserve. <laughs> I'm just not going to do thought exercises with you, though. You know, that's probably a good thing, because, you know... A lot of thought exercises are for twats. <laughs> would you, how much money would it take for you to chop off both of your legs? How much money would it take for you to suck my dick around? I, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say next. <laughs> <laughs> it, does, it doesn't really work for me, because I'm bi, but, like, since you're yeah, straight... Yeah, that's just, like, you just go, oh, you know, free money, hey. Yeah, free money, but, uh, like, you know, when you're straight, it's like, well... If you had to suck a dude's dick, how much money? <laughs> Those kind of questions. My response to that is usually how much you offer. I feel like, I feel like you're more willing to answer that than you are the fork and spoon question, which raises concerns. I think. Concerns. Concerns. Gavin, yeah, so you may you not believe it, but I do again. care about your well-being. Ah. Uh, and your your mental health. I don't just like I just I don't just like not believe it. I actively refuse it. <laughs> well, speaking of, how, how was your job today? 
<laughs> was it good? In the past several days, where it's like I'm staring at a flexible array member and going, "Why the fuck doesn't this work?" Have you been working on this for work. days? Oh, it's for weeks. Oh lord. This is one fucking part of this thing just fucking will not work ever. And I can't get it, like, I just can't get it to work. Like, I have everything else, I've, like, rewritten the ring around it so many times. And I've gone to my boss, I've said, like, I've said, the shit, like, as you want this design just doesn't fucking work. Like, look at it. Like, no matter what I do, I cannot put something in this goddamn array the way this is now. He's like, well, you know, just, like, we're kind of, like, you know, fitting into a big clump of memory, and, like, then we can, like, you know, just use that big clump of memory instead and use a pointer to keep it in a link list. And it's just kind of like, well, it's like, that's great and all, but all that is quite dependent on this thing that we put this in. It's not gonna let you put it in. Just put it in, lol! It won't. Every time I try it, it's, it the whole program chokes and dies. What's I here? Oh, shit. It's front, it's front, it's front. I think. Yeah. Find it. So it's, it's not going good. But you're getting paid. You're getting paid on Wednesday, even. So at least, at least there's that. And you aren't at risk of being fired for this not working, are you? Yet. Yet. <laughs> just give I'm it like, a few that's more like, weeks. That's an exaggeration, but like, it is, like, it is, I feel like it isn't good. Like, maybe I'm like, thinking worse of it than my boss and everyone else is, because he's like, well, you know, like, you've learned how to do like, all this other shit with it. Like, you know how to use Varidic arguments and shit. It's like, yeah, I do. And like, I know, like, I have a good idea of how like, memory allocation and shit works, and that's all fine. But it is the sort of thing I'm like, he said, like, oh, you know, at the outside of this, he's like, oh, this will be like a two, three week job, and I at the end of week four. And granted, it's because it's one element that I cannot get the fucking work. And he's like, well, on Monday, we're gonna, I'll sit down and help you, because he's like, he looked at it the day, and he's just kind of like, hang around, like, he just he said, like, that should work. And we went over, like, how I'm like, doing the memory and everything. He's like, that should work. And I'm like, yeah, it should, it shouldn't. It? I'm beginning to think us doing this, like, fucking OPX function thing is fucked of it somehow, and I just want to refuse the work because. I don't fucking know, C is a bastard language. Well, I guess it's better than me. We're like, I'm meant to stay at a house for 20 minutes, and then if I leave the house at 15 minutes, I'm afraid that there's a camera somewhere, and they're gonna see, and they're <laughs> gonna fire me on the spot. So, I guess you aren't as paranoid as I am. <laughs> Man, I'm not as paranoid because, like, you know, they are like, well, you know, if we didn't, we, when that came in, I was like, you know, I hope, like, a year's basic experience and see, he's like, yeah, I don't expect you to know, like, fucking anything about any of this. We're just gonna teach you all of it as you go. So I imagine this is part of that, and it, they, I will probably won't even be in risk of being fired or let go or anything until I'm put on, like, an actual project and somehow manage to fuck it, irre like, irreversibly. <laughs> Although, going by how, like, they're talking, I hear, like, you know, the engineers are all just, like, sitting around, like, our section of the office, and we all just, like, call around each other. Like, if someone wants to talk to someone else, he just turns around and goes, like, Hey, John, like, what's, what's up? And like, hey, I found, like, the thing that's going wrong. Wow, team are you? It gets funny sometimes, because there's three different people named John. So, to, like, today, for instance, like, one of them was like, John, I think I found, like, the answer to your problem. It's like, okay, John, bring me over and show me this madness. And, and then someone was like, either, at the end of this, either way, a John will be wrong. And I, was, I just kind of, like, sat there going, like, is this real? Is this real? Did I just hear this? Like, what's that? Am I dying? What's happening? Oh, hey, Julian Beckumania posted with four viewers. Yay. Thank you. I, I don't know when that was. I was kind of focusing there, but. Has anyone said it? Thank you. Nah, it's fine now. I'm just, I'm just waiting for like, the Twitch chat to freak out. <laughs> Like, yeah, that does not work. Just got here. Oh, well. There we go. Okay. Hello. So it's not broken. Twitch clips were broken earlier today, so anything could happen. Well, god damn it. I saved the most controversial piece of uh, questioning for last. And what's that? The One Piece logo. Ah, this. I don't, I don't like it. I thought about it. I don't like it. Like... Okay. Can I? Do you know what it what, what it looks like? I do, yes, because David's been reading it recently and been showing me pages and shit. How do I? Hold on. I don't know how you drag shit images into OBS. I don't either, but I want to learn hard too because I want to this? fuck with things. Oh god, that's huge. How do I scale? He's gonna have to leave this on screen for an entire week. 
Probably. Oh lord, come on. And then he'll get done for copyright infringement. I hope not. Well, look at that, look at that logo. Is that... <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to think that that just said... Nope, or Nepek. So what you're saying is when you were a kid, you were fucking stupid. I mean, it's like... Oh, is, is Nepek the, the, you know, production company of it or something? They, they keep right, showing kid, up. Would you like, did you know what a production company was but not be able to read that? Well, because, you know, it goes, Hi, I'm Paul, uh, at the end of Jimmy Neutron, and then like, uh, you know, uh, woo, 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 You know, all that shit, and then at the end of Simpsons, no. it goes... At the end of Simpsons, it goes, Shh! Do, 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 I like, never knew what that was as a kid, even when watching those. I, I know. I, I just kind of ass I assumed that Nepek was one of those kinds of things. Maybe not a production company per se, but something like that. Could, like, shoot yeah, 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 yeah. Solve them. There we go. But it's just, it's just <laughs> like it's so stupid. The O doesn't look like an O. It looks like the background. Is it does? What are you talking it about? It looks like the background for the pirate image. No, it so, looks like an O. It's a circle. That doesn't count for the letter. The spacing is so far. The spacing is so far away that you know the Luffy being the eye could easily just be him being there. You're doing this thing you did with Monster Hunter, where it's like because you personally don't get it, you immediately assume it's bad and not that you just fucked up. I know I fucked up, but I, I think that there are general, genuine flaws no, here. No, you're doing that thing where you have fucked up, and instead of going, well, I fucked up, you're trying to say, well, no, this thing, in he's fact... Not he's not even the same color as the text. <laughs> he's that red! makes it stand out. Welcome to It doesn't design. need to! It already stands out because it's not a normal eye. No, it does. It makes it more distinct. It's like, this is a silhouette, red. And then the... Adds more color to the overall logo, too. The anchor doesn't look like an E. Does. It doesn't fit the font at all. Like, at least have a happy medium between the font and what looks like an anchor. Chris, I think you just have no, like, aesthetic sense at all. <laughs> I- it's just- it, it, It's just not- it's not good, I think. Like, a, a logo I doesn't think need- you genuinely just fucked up, and you're just like, well, I have to justify it as, as being bad. No, it's just that logo is- it's too extra. That's what it is. It's too extra. A logo doesn't need to be that it's extra. It's simplistic. There's so many... No, it's the it's farthest it thing from simplistic. It is. It's the just farthest. It's like a very simplistic thing. You just can't read it because I don't fucking know. You think everything's super literal, right? Like, look at the Splatoon 2 logo. At most, there's a 2, and then it has a little squid arrow at the end of it. That's stylistic, but it doesn't get in the way. The skull no, one, literally one, gets in the way. Does, what, defines in the way. The, what defines the letter O? Oh, it's a circle a with a circle. hole in it. Oh, no, where's the, the hole in this O? Oh, it's being the, covered the, the by the hole, skull. The by the way, is the skull. In the big gap in the circle. That is your hole. Except, oh, man, holes are... designs at all. Holes are skull-shaped? I never knew. The skull's too big to even fit in an O like that. It genuinely looks like a background. They put so much effort into the like. It's not even a simplistic skull. Like it, it has colors. It, it has colors. It has like a whole shape. Colors. It's white and black. That's it. And red and yellow. No, that's a hat. That's a hat. That counts. Because it's a part of the skull. It's a part of the skull art. You can't read very simple visual designs. I mean, at that point, you might as well just make your logo wing, wing, wingdings, you know? No, because, like, anyone like, can just look at that and read One Piece if they know English. Like, why do half and half when you can, when you could go all in on the symbols, meaning letters, and then just no one can read fucking anything? And I will also remind you, this is a Japanese series. That's its Japanese logo, and they can read it fine. It's <laughs> just in their language. Like, it's a... Like, I don't know, because it's like... Isn't like Super, like Super Mario Sunshine's logo is just the words and they're blue and then it has a sun in the background? Couldn't it just no, be the, the letters? The, the sun is like one of the things, isn't it? Is it? I don't actually yeah. remember, but... It's like, couldn't, couldn't the skull be in the background? Couldn't, like, couldn't the anchor? I feel like, for some reason, you're, you're like completely focused on the skull and just not able to somehow put together the pattern of the letters that she's that's very it's the most it's the most offensive obvious. i think it's the most offensive part even though the anchor is ugly it's like 
They tried to go in between, and then it doesn't even work. It fails at that. No, it doesn't fail at that. You fail at reading it. it fails at looking like an E. How many E's are curved no, like that? There are like plenty of Not in this I'm font. The first person I've seen who somehow misread this very simple. You logo. see the you see the N. Was it the the N the E? Yeah, the E. There's an E there, and this E for some reason looks completely different. No, it's almost like it's visually distinctive. It like hello, it's called consistency in reading. No, it's not. It's called like basic visual design that still has an inherent consistency. How would you feel if I wrote? If I wrote something to you, and then it was every letter was in a different font, every one or two letters was in a different font. If I could still read it, it would be fine. If it was conveyed. It's unnecessary. Like, what the fuck? Me as text, that would be Gamers. like unnecessary and weird, sure. But this is not to do that. This is the logo for a, a piece of media. This is to catch the eye and like make you go, hmm, what is this? If it gets across no, like the no, like, it shouldn't do elements that. Elements of the series. It should make it, me like, go, hmm, what design. is this spell? It should make me go. Oh, that says One Piece, because the human brain no, can read go, a mile a minute. Yeah, we should go, hmm, what is this series? Like, hey, this has an interesting visual logo. Like, what does this mean? You can have an interesting visual logo without obscuring the letters. They didn't obscure the letters at all. You just couldn't read it, and now you're assuming it's their fault. Like, all Super Mario does is just have, like, these kind of lined things and then a bunch of different colors and it's visually pleasing and different and you can read it yeah just like the one piece logo no not just like the one piece logo. all the parts of it follow the basic all the parts of it follow the basic line work of english letters you if you know english you can read it and go hmm like you can you can only have one of these and i hate can't. I hate the character being the letter the most. That's the trope I hate the most. So remove Luffy and uh, the O Love once it. again. It's like it's bigger than the rest of the font too. So that just leads me to believe that it's a part of just a skull picture because games have or games and things have that. So it's just a you know. So probably remove that or at least make no, the O look like, more like it would fit. Just that you could not read a simple visual design and are not just trying to accuse it of being bad to see if it is. And the E is kind of an interesting idea with the anchor, but if you just make it look more like the E that's there, because, you know, it doesn't need to really look like an anchor. It, it you know, it just has the anchor thing I mean, and then the rope and everyone say, gets why the is idea. everything just in time to Roman font? I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I, I want the font. I want the font you're using to be consistent. Visually distinctive elements that help like get across the themes and like elements of the series quickly and concisely. That's too extra. It's too extra. It's not too extra. That's basic visual design. The only like you can't have you can't have Nepek be consistent and then you know everything else just be what it wants to be. You can't read apparently. I can read letters, Gavin. These are letters, and you're not. These are not them, so letters. Know. <laughs> These are not letters. <laughs> One of them is an outline of a man, Gavin. That is not a letter. Taking the place of a letter that is usually depicted as a straight line of a dot. Like One piece one doesn't even a have a dot. Line of a body. His arms are out. Doesn't matter. Like it's still distinct, like clearly distinctly an eye. Ooh, and with the way it's just spaced out, it's like perfect. You have a symbol, you have two letters, you have a symbol, you have two letters, you have a symbol. No, you have a bunch of letters. Some of them you don't have letters. a bunch of letters. You do have a bunch of letters, you're just fucking stupid and can't read. If I removed the One Piece quote, like, if I removed the Nepic, Nep, Nep piece, <laughs> and just had the skull, would you think that's an O? Oh no, I think that's One Piece's logo. Yeah, exactly! That's what I'm saying! They put the logo in front of the title! No, they didn't. They put it in the title. It's not in front of, it's the fucking title. Like, that's just it. It's just like a fucking O. It's a circle. Like, I don't know how you can't read that. Like, it's just a circle. It's very it's, easy to read. It's, it's a, a series for it's children. A hole in it. Like there's a not, there was another one piece thing. It doesn't need I, a hole. It, 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 a it doesn't need a hole, and B it actually does have a hole. It's the fucking skull. 
It has it's not two part holes of the in it. Of the circle. Oh my god. Like I was, I, 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 this came to be because someone posted the One Piece intro one, OP one, and uh, it has oh, that. One of ten thousand. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> it's not. I, I'm like, oh, I recognize this song. I don't really like it. Let's go back to the four kids version. But, <laughs> but. <laughs> I just out there off everyone that I have. I I, you know what? I like it because it's so stupid and bad. Is that fair? No. He's the king of the pirates! Alright. <laughs> like, in that video, there's another One Piece logo where it's, like, red, and then the O has, like, you know, a cross through it. That's perfectly fine. Because only the O is interrupted, and it still looks like an O, it just has a cross it's in it. It's not interrupted, it's literally just an O that looks fancy. I don't know where you get this like incessant belief that this is an interruption or somehow a break in a basic visual pattern. Uh, you, you shouldn't need the study of visual design to know these things. They're just inherent so like hard things work. You're like, oh, like he is in like like you know, cartoons or whatever do the sort of thing. It's like it's the exact same thing. I don't know how you can get it there but not here. Because those actually look like the things they're representing. So are these. While being stylistic. So, so are these. No. There's no no about this. It's as hard it is, you couldn't read it. <laughs> you alone, more or less. I've never heard anyone say this ever like this. I feel like they just aren't. They just aren't thinking about it. In the, they're talking about it in the same, in the same way I am. They think, oh, no. That, that, Here's what I they do. What is, you're not thinking about it. Here's what they do. They say, oh, I kind of thought that that said Netpack because they look kind of weird. And then they weave it at that. I take it I take it one step further. And I go, why does it look like Netpack? Why does it look like Netpack? Oh, because it looks fucking stupid. If I if I weren't here, people wouldn't question wouldn't question anything. Everything would be the status quo. And no, everyone would be like you. Instead of getting really confused about <laughs> Just accepting the world the way it is, instead of challenging beliefs. Cool. Like the yeah, One Piece logo. Like, <laughs> uh, that should be the next Splatfest. And then my uh, team will win because it'll probably apparently be least popular. So I'll be, right. be I'll be right. It'll be you. I'll be right. No, it will be you alone. One no, no, yeah, I would pick mine because it would give me more uh, sea snails, which now actually have a purpose too, so I have more reason to collect them. Like at first I thought, oh, but chunks, sea snails do nothing, but now I know they do something. So I might actually do this spot fest, which means we should do that Nathan for you thing between now and next week. That what? Uh, uh, Nathan, watch Nathan for you while playing Splatoon, so that I don't get angry oh, right, right, right. because it's funny. That's the plan, Arena, to get me to like Splatoon. We gotta patch that up. Oh, get this, get this logo off my screen. Well, now that we caught our masses fight and scared off the entire Disgusting, reading part. Disgusting, terrible. <laughs> get it out of here. Uh. I hate you. All right, let's <laughs> let's chop and then do Monster Hunter. I was about so to say. I was playing wrong. Grand Blue Fantasy over this week because of a Love Live collab on. And I found out, and this is wow. like fucking baffling to me. They got you. Like, the game is like. On iPad, the game was like. It was like. It goes into iPhone emulation mode because it doesn't have an iPad version for some <laughs> terrible reason. Even though the devs have like literally endless money. But here we are. Uh, so, I have to play it in like this weird half of zoomed mode where it doesn't take up the entire screen and it's somewhat annoying that I've gotten used to it now because before now it would just throttle itself and be like a weird pixely like slow moving piece of shit because graphics were set to normal I went I found out there was graphic options on this and I set them to high and suddenly everything is like not only high resolution it just you know, the graphics option is light or standard and then resolution <laughs> low standard high so i set resolution to high and suddenly frame rate and everything went up to like max and like it's perfectly smooth now well, and it loads better and all it's like, it's, a, like it's, it's a cheap mobile game so understandable and i don't know about cheap there's like an insane amount of voice acting in here 
Yeah, you and should turn back. Fucking gorgeous. Turn back. Admire from afar. Um, You're I mean, setting like, yourself up for debt because now you have a job. So what you'll be like is, I don't have to save money. I'm getting paid four weeks from now. I can I can hold out until then if I spend one hundred dollars. The difference between you and me, Chris, is that I can control my money. Mm, we'll, see, we'll see. You know, Grand Grand Blue. Uh, there's, there's no we'll see. Very com also, very compelling character designs, Gavin. I think that uh, you might fall for it. No, I won't. I didn't fall for a prayer. I didn't fall for a fire. Only. Yeah, because you don't care about either of those. You could care less about. This is it. This is, I don't even know his name, and I use him. Oh my God! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's surprising. A number that's already called me. That's rare. They really want to market the. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> we'll try again in twelve hours. Die. <laughs> Yeah, once once again, I worry for you, Gavin. Well, the other the other half of it is I can't actually like. The only way I can like buy like any of the currency for it, if I wanted to, is like go and like buy you know, iOS cards from some like Japanese iOS cards <laughs> online, because it doesn't let because Apple are like nah. Android, I Apple Android, Android. I don't know if it's Apple or if it's like. Uh, devs themselves or whatever, but it's just like, you no, know, that's not like a Japanese, like, card or whatever, so it's like, we can't dig that, sorry. It Fuck has off. to be, it has to be Apple, because Google just transfers it itself, you know what I mean? I mean, I think, like, Apple do it to avoid, like, any fuckery of, like, exchange rates, because I noticed, for instance, like, Puyo Quest would, like, block me out of the shop if I wasn't logged into my Japanese account. Yeah, meanwhile, with me, I could just buy it no matter what. And it actually even showed the dollar amount. And I think this is a major thing about why you, like, wrecked yourself. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah I don't have, have to go through Play Asia and then wait 24 hours for their digital yeah, code. Yeah, this, this is what I'm saying. Like, I, like, if I wanted to, I have to go through all that shit just to get it. So it's kind of like, well... The other flip side of it is that, you know, Grand Blue Fantasy is, like, a very gen like, genuinely generous game. Probably because the devs have already made like all the fucking money in the in the world, so it's hey, like fuck it. Hey Gavin, how do what? you know someone's a grand boo flyer? Hi. Because they'll tell you that they got a free ten roll today. <laughs> I mean, it basically just shits one out every single fucking day. Speaking of, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna do that after. Yeah, you, you don't have yeah. you don't have a lot. Of, you supposedly don't have a lot of free time as is. I kind of worry. I mean, that's mostly just because of stuff like what we're doing. That you'll that you'll start, you know. Are you creating the hub by the way? Not eating. Well, I'm still in Splatoon. I have to cut off the vod. I'm not, I'm not about to, you know, cut off this interesting conversation halfway through and then start the monster hunter. Oh, I, I already cut mine off and restarted my I'm sitting in monster hunter. <laughs> Did you just not even include the grand blue shit in yours, leaving me like here to die? I could like half of it now. The other half is here. That's so, that's that's not good. Oh well. That's terrible. <laughs> All I mean, right. If I had an audience to care about, maybe. We're done. <laughs> we're, we're we're done. We're done with Splatoon and Graham Blue. Time to get angry at Monster Hunter. Not it's really so angry, damn, but confused. So damn gorgeous art, though. Confused and frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. It's worth you know. It's worth a shot. So. Yeah, thanks for watching Splatoon again. For the 200th time, uh, the 200th time maybe. Twitch seemed to have actually added like Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate now, so.